everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a single rib stitch, which is the stitch that you see here. Now this is a great stitch if you'd rather to uh, have a thicker ribbing on a hat and one that works up quite quickly uh, and is quite bulky. Um, it's also great if you want something with a lot of texture and has a little bit of stretch as well. The stitch is comprised of front and back post double crochet stitches. So it is going to use up a little bit of yarn, but it's also going to work up very quickly. It's the same on the front and on the back. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's grab a hook and some yarn and learn how to crochet the single rib stitch. Today for this tutorial, I am going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'll provide links in the description of this video for both of these items there. For our single rib stitch today, we're going to start off by making a foundation chain. And for your foundation chain, you're going to need a multiple of two stitches. So today I will do 20 stitches for us. Once you have your foundation chain that is a multiple of two stitches, you're going to start row one by skipping the first three chains, one, two, three, and into that fourth chain, you're going to work one double crochet stitch, and then one double crochet into each chain all the way across. Double crochet in each chain all the way across your foundation chain. Once you have your first row of double crochet stitches you've worked, you're going to chain two, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. We're now going to begin working our front and back post double crochet stitches. You're going to skip that first stitch where your turning chain is coming out of because that turning chain counts as a stitch. And in this next stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch, which is a, a double crochet around the post of uh, the stitch indicated, so our second stitch here. So to work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, and you're going to insert it around the post working from right to left of that stitch down below. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. That's your front post double crochet. Around the next stitch you're going to work a back post double crochet. So yarn over, bring your hook to the back of your work and you're going to work from right to left around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two, and yarn over and draw through two more. That's your back post double crochet. We're now going to alternate these stitches all the way across. So front post, double crochet around the next stitch, and back post double crochet around the next. Keep going all the way across your work. When you come to your starting chain, which was a chain three, you're going to work a double crochet stitch into the top of that starting chain. I have my last two stitches here, so I'm working a back post double crochet and then I have my chain three here. I'm going to work a double crochet stitch just into the third chain or into the top of that chain three. Chain two, and then turn your work. Now for your third row and for every row afterward, you're simply going to repeat 
that last row. So skip that first chain and that first stitch and begin with a front post double crochet around the first stitch and a back post double crochet around the next stitch. And you're going to know that you're doing it correctly because your posts are always going to stay either to the front or to the back. So you're going to alternate all the way down front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and so forth. All the way down to the end, when you come to your starting chain two, you're going to work a double crochet into that final chain two. And that's all there is for working this single rib stitch. Keep going for as much as you'd like. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again be sure to subscribe and until next time happy crocheting. Bye!